Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Ginny. Today I'm going to share with you how to get started with your Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils. This is a wonderful set of pencils that comes with 13 colors. They're nice, rich, and creamy, so they're wonderful to work with. So let me set this aside and show you. I've got a watercolor basics and color chart here. One of the first things you want to do with your color pencils is to create a chart. This chart will help you see what happens with your watercolor pencils when you use them. You can use both blender pens and aqua painters, but for today's chart we're going to be using the aqua painter. Okay, to create your chart you're going to simply want to take your watercolor pencil and you're going to start by burnishing. Burnishing means that you're filling the space completely with the color and then you want to lighten it up and become a little less dense with your color so that you've got a very dark, medium, and light shade. Once I've got that done, I'm going to take my aqua painter. I'm using an aqua painter today, but you can also use a blender pen if you prefer. I filled the barrel up with water, and I'm simply going to squeeze to get that tip loaded, and I can control the water on my tip with the paper towel. It also is used to clean my blender pen, and so you want to be careful when you're doing this not to start with too much water. You want to have a little less um, and add water to it if you need to. And I'm simply going to run my aqua painter over that color chart to show the variety of shades and clean it in between. This is real quick and easy, and there's no particular way. You're simply spreading the color as it gets wet and moving down your page. And you can lighten it up if you want to show more variance. And as you can see, when you add water to these colors, they become very intense or bold. As they dry, they'll become lighter. So you'll want to do this mixing down your chart. And all a watercolor pencil is, is a color pencil that's had wax or oil added to it, plus a water solution gum, so that you can work with it. So that's a chart that you can create. I've got some basics on top here for you that you can read and check out. And you can print the PDF off on Whisper White cardstock to create your own. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. It's open 24-7, and you can get there from my blog, stampwithginny.com. Thanks for joining me.